3251, you're going to know 64-year-old female say she's having rectal bleeding and feeling dizzy. Cold during a seven with ice. Well, that's not good. No, that's not good at all. What's concerning about this call is that she's dizzy because that means she could have lost a lot of blood. Well, rectal bleeding's a thing. Yeah. And it can be bad. Oh, she actually does not look good. Mm. We're responding to a call for a female who's experiencing rectal bleeding. Let's scoot you back a little bit on three, one, two, there we go. <laughs> He's on top of me. It's gonna go right to his head. Oh, really? Mm -hmm. That's why I don't have no head. That's right. Even though this patient was in the hospital earlier today, she's in a good mood. And while that doesn't mean she's entirely out of the woods yet, it does mean things are looking up. Oh, you were just at the hospital, huh? Yes, ma'am. I started this afternoon about 2 o'clock. Mm-hmm. I started having to go to the bathroom. I got a cramp. Then after that, I got so dizzy and weak, mm -hmm. I just fell on the bed. I mm -hmm. said, Lord, please don't let me die. I don't care any of that. And you had some rectal bleeding? Yeah. All right. Sometimes with GI bleeds, they can stop on their own. But the fact that this woman is calling us now means that her situation has gotten worse. She's pretty tacky. What'd I you got get? 110 over 70. All right, baby. Well, unfortunately, your blood pressure is a little bit lower than we want it to be, so we're going to have to stick you at least once. Uh, just means you probably lost a little bit of blood. Can I see this on? <laughs> <laughs> literally. <laughs> literally. Is it, is it usually pretty hard for people to get an IV on you, baby? Yes, sir. Is it good? They always had this stick to me with a little bitty needle. Not me. I'm sticking you with a yard dart. You know what a yard dart is? <laughs> what the hell is that? It's a big ass needle, biggest one we got. He better not stick me with no damn big needle. He's gonna. This dude's got both. <laughs> He's mean. He is mean. It's a good sign when the patient isn't laughing and joking. It's an even better sign when they give me a hard time. Yeah, you can scream, just uh, don't move this arm, okay? Can I punch him? Yes, you can, but only after he gets out of here. He's gotta stick you again. Oh, no, no, no. Stick on three. Oh! Mother. <laughs> <laughs> I'm glad we picked you up. This is going to be a great trip. Her blood pressure's low, and her heart rate's a little elevated. That tells me that she's still sick. She might need blood products. She might need surgery. So while we're still having a good time, she needs medical care. What's your first name, my dear? Colleen. Middle name is talks too damn much. That's oh, right. Be quiet. <laughs> Respect your elders. That's right. <laughs> it's great. <laughs> She is a sweet lady. Nine, three, two, two, oh, dang, two, two. All right. He's hitting everything but the lottery. <laughs> you got any pain meds? No, I don't take uh, uh, pain meds. You're 64. What are you waiting for? For a good-looking man to come along. Have you met my partner? I don't care. <laughs> I just want somebody old who's got lots of money. <laughs> oh, you want to add in a coal. All right, I see you. I'm surprised on the job daily, because the people are characters, and you're going to end up laughing throughout the night. You know what? I want that for you. When we get to the hospital, they're most likely going to do some scans, draw some labs, and hopefully she will make a full recovery. But she don't have no patients like me. 3248, you're going for a motor vehicle accident. Unknown script of the vehicle. We responded to a traffic accident. Traffic accident on the high rise, which is very dangerous. On here, it says high rise east 7. The location of this NVC is particularly dangerous because it's, it's the part of the interstate that goes over a canal, which connects to the Mississippi River. We call it the high rise. People speed, and it's so tall that when you get to the top, it's kind of blind for a couple seconds. So people get hit all the time. That's probably it right here. Yep. You can share what's on scene. When me and Flex gets on scene, it's only us. We're really high up on the high rise right now, and I can see, hear, and I can actually feel the unit shaking every time a car flies past us. Hey, y'all. Was y'all involved in this accident? Yeah. OK, do, do y'all want to go to the hospital? Yeah. Anybody needs to go to the hospital? Yeah, All right. Give me one second. What about you, sir? You good? Yeah. Okay. You're gonna go in the morning. We have one up there. Who wants to go. The one in the back seat. He wants to go. Okay. 
Okay. All right, baby. Well, y'all take care, okay? Put, call back if y'all want to go. Uh, we're always here, okay? All right. Hello, hello. Hey, hey, what's your name? Uh, Vernon. Vernon? All right, Mr. Vernon, you said you're having some head pain? Right. You had your seatbelt on, right? Uh, you didn't? I know, sir. OK, OK. All right, I'm going to put this collar on you real quick, OK? Once I find out the patient was unrestrained in the back of this ride-sharing vehicle, this call goes up a notch because he can have internal injuries that I can't see. So we place the seat collar on him for precautionary measures to keep his neck straight and in line. All right. A few bumps, man, OK? Mm -hmm. So no loss of consciousness? You didn't pass it's out? The, I'm uh, just kind of dizzy, dizzy like right now. OK. Yeah, All right, man, we're going to get you on over there, OK? OK, I appreciate it. So you just said your head hurts a little bit, your neck does back here, yeah, just where like I'm touching, it. just yeah. just right here yes, in the middle? OK. Yeah. 10 being the worst pain you have ever felt, 1 being hardly no pain at all. What's your, your neck about right now? About a, about a 5. About a 5, OK. I feel bad for him because he's just trying to get home and his ride share gets in an accident. He's hurting, but he's in good spirits. Nice, quick, fast, bumpy ride over there, right? <laughs> Hopefully, it don't hurt your neck any, any long. No, it won't. <laughs> Thanks for the fun. <laughs> You'll give us four stars on a Yelp review? Oh, dude. <laughs> Hi, dude. Look like we got a 67 year old female saying she has some stomach pains, but she's conscious and breathing. She might be just constipated. Yeah, constipated, you know, the bubble good. And it's crazy because it's one of the anginal equivalents of a heart attack is, you know, abdominal pain. And it is an elderly female. Female, so I mean, that's something that you're going to have to be mindful of. It right, it might know. be a heart trying to kick the bucket. Abdominal pain could be something that's low acuity, as in gastritis, or it could be something serious like an abdominal aortic aneurysm. So that's a lot of factors that we need to keep in mind heading to this call. I think that's crazy. My stomach hurt, too. You always got the bubble gut. Oh. We here for you? Yeah, no, my uh, cousin got his stomach pain. OK. All right, we coming, all right? He said my cousin in the back, he said his stomach hurt. So it's a him? We're going to find out. <laughs> What's your name? My name is Lewis. All right, Lewis. Describe that stomach pain. Does it feel like a knot? Like a knot, but it's tight, tight, tight. Like, all right. All right, when was your last bowel movement, baby? This evening. All right, was it normal? I'm sorry, I said this evening. That ain't no issue. I'm trying to have one, too. Does, does it go? <laughs> <laughs> I know. <laughs> All right. I had took a laxative. After I took it, it felt a little better, but after that, it started hurting even worse. OK. He took a laxative a few hours prior. And being that his stomach is cramping now, it's potentially moving its way through the intestinal system, which is what it's supposed to do when you take a laxative. But we still want to get him in back of the truck so we can further assess him to make sure. All right, watch your stuff. Don't go scuba diving. Well, I'm not. The only marine animals we got over here is Shaq. Oh, uh, yeah, you know I'm the whale, and that's the elephant. <laughs> I'm going to take him back to the zoo in the morning. Don't you worry about it. <laughs> Y'all keep doing that, y'all gonna make me feel better. Well, you know you call, you know you know you call the clown services. Yeah, you know what they say. Sometimes laughter is the best medicine. Yeah, you right. And we all here for it. Yeah. We ain't gonna drop you. Only drop on Sunday. <laughs> Take your mask off real quick. Let me see. Let me get your temperature real quick. All right, you ain't got no fever. Just the bubble gut. Blue, blue. <laughs> I don't know what I'm going to do with y'all. <laughs> you can't do nothing but love them. Yeah, thank you. <laughs> Your blood sugar's good. That's in the 140s. Your heart looking good. Your heart look better than his. I can tell you that much. Really? <laughs> you ever heard the saying that somebody can be so ugly that they pretty? <laughs> you did tonight. <laughs> He kind of look like a pug. You ever seen a pug, a little animal like the pug, the, the dog? You better be lucky we got to have these masks on. Good. She said she open. You, you're right. We is lucky we got to keep the mask <laughs> on for, your, for the patient's sake. That's all right. As we get the 12 lead on the patient, we notice that his vital signs look outstanding. That tells me that constipation is most likely the cause of his pain. 
However, it's still an issue that we know we need to get him to the hospital for to get fixed. Appreciate you. Where we going? Bathroom? All right, gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. <laughs> But hopefully we can just keep that positive, that positive mood going, that positive vibe. Oh my God. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Building a rapport with your patient is extremely important when taking care of them. And seeing that the patient is 100% in good spirits, able to laugh and joke with us while we take care of them and bring them to the hospital, I think this patient's gonna be all right. <laughs> Hopefully we get you right, fix them squirts. <laughs> 32 Soul Patrol, we're here for ambulance service, your medical care, and a good comedy show. We're gonna cover all the bases. Come on, boy. Boy, I'm coming. I have to make sure I have some water in my fish tank. Shut up. You're responding to 51 year old male, possibly intoxicated, sitting on the sidewalk because he's unconscious, white male wearing a blue and gray shirt and black pants. Mm -hmm. 39 going to be on that side. Let's be in front of the asterisk. Plaza. She can't be hard to find a man passed out on the ground. We received a call for a man down on Canal Street vomiting. One in a million. You know what's funny? A lot of things go through our head because it's always different. Just to be a man from sleeping to a man that's not breathing. So you, we really don't know what to expect until we pull up. We're in there. I think he's right here. Hello, how are y'all? Could be better. Could be better, huh? What's going on? Um, uh, it's much strange. Uh oh. Up all over himself. Who is this to you, baby? I'm Mike. What's his name? Michael. Mr. Hey, Mr. Michael. How you feel? Are you all right? Hey, just gave us a hey look, up. me, he's gonna get on one side, I'm gonna get on the other. We're gonna use your legs and get you on this stretcher, right, brother? Titus and I are dispatched to a man down on Canal Street that's vomiting. So there's a strong smell of alcohol, and it just looks like he's had a little too much to drink. On three, Mike. One, two, three. Uh, there we go, brother. But uh, he's pleasant. We kind of want to keep it that way, so we try to form a, a rapport with him and kind of make friends for the moment. But we still want to assess him for injury before we move him and get him to the truck and make sure that there's nothing else going on. You good? You hurting anywhere, bud? Nah, just had a little too much. You about to throw it right now? We are gonna be with you, but you gotta let us know before you go, all right? Up, 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 oh. hold up, hold up. <laughs> all right, Mr. Mike, get it all out. He vomits pretty violently. I mean, it's like something off of the Exorcist movie. It's projectile, he gets some distance on it. So we immediately drop the stretcher. He's leaning off the side of the stretcher. We lower the stretcher where he doesn't flip the stretcher over and cause himself further injury. Got it? I'm a paramedic. I see vomit all the time. If I get it on me this time, it won't be the first or last time. So it's something I'm kind of used to at this point. We're going to give you some medicine to help you with that nausea, right, brother? Let me sit this off for one moment. We're going to check y'all. Are you hurting anywhere? No, just nausea? Let us know. Hold on to that. Oh. You get me? I don't think so. All right, let me get you. Almost got me, Mr. Mike. My man good at that, look. This is something they don't teach you in, in school. If you were a patient that's been drinking a little bit too much, they'll talk to you, then they give you that stare. And my man locked eyes with me, and we got that stare. I just know I had to, you know, step two feet to the side. How you feel since you threw up? I feel like crap. All right, we're gonna, I'm gonna give you some fluids too, all right? My man threw everything out. I just seen the red beans, the, the shrimp, the, the etouffee. What you been drinking, man? You got them hurricane? Nah, Zambuca I got you. Sambuca I got you. That's Sambuca I got you. Well, you know what? You got me, man. I don't think I ever had Bambuca. I don't think I ever had oh, that either. Oh, my God, it's the awful. Mike, that's your drink? I, I don't know if I want it now. Uh. My man had a good time on Canal Street, but a little bit too much Sambuca. Y'all ready? Yeah, we ready. He got me, but I know he didn't try to do it on purpose, so that goes a long way, too. Let's take a wipe and wipe it off. I'm a paramedic. That's what we do. Oh, yeah. We going to the hospital, Mr. Mike. 
Mr. Mike. Yeah. He said he can't remember what happened. Mr. Zambuka himself. <laughs> what the <laughs> f You know Zambuka? Oh, <laughs> Zambuka. What the f you tell him? <laughs> I didn't say that, that was your bartender. He was the one feeding you the drinks. Yeah, you, don't, you, don't, you don't remember me? <laughs> you don't remember him? It's not a complete New Orleans trip until you get to visit the ER, man. Safe, be strong. Let's do this. Get that stretcher in here. You're gonna bleed to death. Randomizer, randomizer. No, they're not dead. I can work with that.